This video is just to show you how to reinstall Macrium disk images from a partition on a drive that's got the Macrium bootloader installed. So what I'm going to do is just boot up this machine now. Um, what you really need to do is work out how you boot into your specific machine um, and then just boot to the partition that's holding the Macrium bootloader. Okay, so I'm, I'm switching on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit delete and go into the BIOS. This particular system is a Revo 1 RL85 and I'm actually just going to be reinstalling some previous disk images from this. This is actually a machine that I'm selling and as part of the sale I'm including a, a, a disk with the disk images on as well to give whoever buys it the option to go between Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll along here. Again, this would be different on each, you know, on different manufacturers' boards and whatnot. But if you've actually got, you know, a, if you know what your boot is, you know, what your boot key is, then just go straight to that. I'm actually doing this in BIOS as well because it might just actually help some people who use the Acer to understand where to change these settings in BIOS. Now, if I just scroll down here. I've, set, I've got it set to your first boot device. It is actually set at the moment to the actual drive that I want it to boot from. But if you want to set this in BIOS, just scroll down and go to hard disk priority. Now in here, this will actually tell you all the disks that you've got attached. Now usually it will be booting from Windows Boot Manager, which is the operating system drive. But I need it to boot from the actual storage drive that's got the uh, the Macrium bootloader and the images on. So it was already set to this, but you know this is where I would go to reset it. So just make sure on this particular system that your you know you've set your boot image to actually the highest one in the disk order, which is the first boot device. So just hit enter, come out of that, hit escape, and then just exit and save. Now what this is going to do, it's going to shut down and then it's going to boot back up and now it's going to go looking for the Macrium bootloader on the actual disk that I've told it to go to. Um, on this particular machine, this little Acer, it looks sometimes like it might have just hung or it's not doing anything. Don't worry about that. Um, it just doesn't give you any kind of visual representation as to what it's doing in the background. But this is our see now it's actually come up with the loader. So it will, it will get there in the end. Okay, so we're now into the actual Macrium screen here. So basically, this drive that I'm using, what it is, it's just a little 40 gig, uh, 40 gig SATA drive, and I've just put the Macrium bootloader in what in the first partition, and then I use the second partition to actually store the disk images. It's just a convenient way with this particular machine because I can actually pull the disk in and out really quickly, and you know just get at the images as and when. Okay, so at this point. What I need to do is browse for an image file. So if, if I click up here on browse for an image file, open that, and then it says this PC. Okay, so click into there. Again, this would be identical no matter what the machine is, because once you've actually entered the Macrium interface, all this is exactly the same as it would be on any machine. It's only the boot, it, it's only the boot sequence and the bootloader that would change. Okay, so now I'll scroll down here, and this will actually tell me, you know, what I've got installed on this machine as far as drives are concerned. So there's Acer, and that's the actual boot drive itself that's already in the machine. Macrium, uh, this first one here, Macrium Boot, actually says Macrium Boot. So this is actually the boot sector of the actual storage drive, and then here's the Macrium images. So if I click in here, I've got a number of things in here. Um, the, the drive also stores me Windows IOS files. Uh, sorry, it's meant to say ISO, it says IOS. Um, yeah, so that stores my Windows files for like Windows 8 and Windows 10. I've got a bunch of utilities in here, and I've also got the drivers as well uh, for this particular machine. So I'll go ahead and click into Macrium images here. Your images may well be elsewhere. Now, also, I've got a number of different machine images on here as well. There's like three different machines that I use and they're all on here too. Just makes it easier for me to whip out the drive and plug into something else and boot really quickly and reload images. So what I'll do, I'll go into the um I'll go into the Acer the Acer one here. Now I've got a number of different images in here uh, which were all to do with when I first bought the machine. I did an image of its Windows 8. So if I want to go back to the original actual factory install, I'd click in here and use this image. 
but I've actually done a fresh Windows 10 on the machine and this is what I need to get back to. So here's fresh Windows 10 here. So I'll double click and then select this as the image in there that I need. So I'll double click that. Now, going back to the interface here, this now shows us the partitions in this image and what's going on in it. Um, now, this one at the end, this is actually the main Windows partition. Uh, as you can see, it says here there's 15.9 gigabytes used out of 53 gig. And then these other partitions here are all like hidden ones which Windows uses for recovery and also for storing various Windows and Microsoft data about the machine. Okay, so what I do now, click on restore image. Now, at this point, it'll say here, drag partitions to the destination disk or click copy selected partitions. Okay, so my selected disk is actually the one that's already got the operating system on that I want to update. Um, now, this is it at the bottom here. You'll see at the end, it says 55 gigs spare. Now, the only reason why that's saying it's spare is because the original Macrium image here was actually done on a 60 gig drive and the drive that I've got in is actually 120 gig. So what I'll do, I'll just click on each of these partitions and hit delete existing partition. And basically what this is gonna do is free up the disk again. So here we are, 111 gigabytes. Now, what we do now, we actually just tell it to transfer all this disk image, including all the partitions, down onto this disk here. So if I click here, copy selected partitions, and there we go. You'll still see that it shows some empty space at the end. Now, because this drive is bigger than the drive that the, that the image come from, when we finally go back into Windows at the end, all we'll do, we'll just extend that 53 gig back into the rest of it. So we'll have, you know, over 105 gigabytes hopefully pop up there at the end. Now what I'll do, I'll click Next. Um, what I tend to do is I'll go to Advanced Options and Verify Image. Um, I'll just say yes anyway. It takes twice as long thereabouts to do this. But, you know, hopefully this would show up any errors before you actually go back into Windows anyway. So I'll click OK on this, hit finish, hit continue. Now that's just, that's just going to look at a quick structure of the drive before it starts copying it over, and then it'll proceed to copy it over. Right, what I'll probably do here um, is just speed this all right the way through because you don't want to watch this going on because it's more boring than I am. Okay, so here we go, I'll speed it up. Okay, so now that's actually all put in now. Um, so the image is on, and what I'm gonna do now is just, is just switch off and reboot back into Windows again. But when I do this, what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna go back to the BIOS and switch the booting order back so we can actually go back to the right Windows disk. So here we go. Again, I'm just going to the boot options um, and then I'll scroll down to hard disk drive priority, click in here, first boot drive. I'm now going to change that from the Hitachi, uh, which is holding the Macri and boot and images, and I'll go back to Windows Boot Manager. Um, okay, um, let me just double check that. Okay, should be Windows Boot Manager. It's actually identifying the Samsung Evo in there as well, which is what the, the Boot Manager is on. So I, I, I think this is right, selecting the Boot Manager, we'll find out now. So just exit, save configuration. Okay, there we go, straight back into Windows again. Now, just quickly, um, what I'll do, let me just log in here. Right, and what I'll do quickly now, just to, if it's of any use to anyone, is just to show quickly 
how to change um, or how to extend the partition size and use up all the actual spare space on the disk that we just put the image onto. So what I'm going to do here is just click Windows and X and it'll bring up a menu on the side here. Then what I'll do, I'll go to System and then in here, right there, just click down the side by Control Panel and do All Control Panel and then Administrative Tools. In here, select Computer Management. And then once Computer Management opens, come down to here to Disk Management. And then this will tell us exactly what we've got on the system here. So Disk 0 is the Evo 120 boot disk with, the, with, the, uh, with Windows on and whatnot. And so as you can see here, it's got unallocated 55 gigabyte so what we're going to do here is we'll select the main Windows partition, right click and do extend volume, click next and then it'll automatically give us the amount of space space that it's got available to actually expand into. So we'll click next on that and then finish and there we go. It's taken up the entire, uh, it's taken up the entire disk now. So what was free has now become part of the main Windows section. So we've now got the 111 gigabytes on there. Okay, so hopefully this has helped people. And yeah, uh, maybe call back as well. I'll be doing a number of other little tutorials to do with small PCs and various tech things as well. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.